So Scorpio, in the recent past, we have the world card. Now with the world card, if you were traveling during this time period and you were in the market for a relationship, you could have met someone while you were away. This would have been true even if you traveled only locally and not far away. You needed not to be afraid to mix, mingle, talk to strangers. On the other side, if you have been in a committed long-term relationship for some time, you are more than likely to find it rising to new and better heights. Things in the love department should have been going quite interesting, but in a real good way. That's what the world card and its pair with the hangman. Now the hangman is about letting go. Letting go of, let's say, an unattainable lover, for example. This would have brought about the possibility that someone that you can be with will be there for you, but that's not, that's only one example, put it that way. You may need to let go of a particular vision of the kind of relationship as being the only way you can be happy. If you're in a long-term relationship, that relationship could have been at a crossroads also. If you think the relationship was great and fabulous, you needed to be sure and find out where your partner's head was at that time. And that's the hangman. Now those two cards are the recent past and we move on to the present, we have the two of wands. So if you're in a relationship, it's about to get a whole lot more equal. So you need to pay attention to your ideals about equality and balance and share them with your partner. If you're looking for love or a relationship at this time, someone who could be very good for you is already likely to be a part of your world. So don't judge a book by its cover at this time. If someone is interested in you now, make sure to give them a chance. This relationship could be just what you've been looking for. That's the two of wands paired with the high priestess. Now, this could be a magical, mystical time for love for anyone interested in it. If you're a woman, you could find people literally throwing themselves at you. The problem is that you will attract both the good, the bad, and it's not always easy to tell which is which. You'll have the power of femininity. It'll be at your disposal at this time. And at first glance, that may seem great and may seem fun. Now, with these two cards paired together, the two of wands, if you're in a relationship, it's going to get a lot better, more equal. Okay, and then if you're looking for love, someone's in your circle already that's good for you. And you probably don't even know it. Um, you could be judging a book by its cover. Let that go. Give this person a chance. Um, the two of wands is paired with the high priestess. So once you let that go, judging a book by its cover or just if this person ever steps, steps up his game and say, hello, somebody that's in your circle that's never made himself known to you um, and you decide to give them a chance, it's going to be a magical, mystical time. That's what the high priestess is letting you know. Okay? So they, they'll prop, this person will probably come forward. Because it's going to be, the high priestess is about people just stepping up to you. You know, coming to you because they find you interesting and they, they want to let you know that, you know, that they think highly of you. And some people may not let you know. You just might find a lot of people just admiring you. Okay, I don't know if you're a famous person or I don't know if you're a public eye, but that's what this card is about. So... It's not a bad thing. So just keep your eyes open at this time. That's the present. Now we move on to the challenge. We have the Six of Pentacles. Now with this card, if you're in a relationship already, it points to a happy, fair, generous, balanced relationship for a while. You need to allow your lover to give to you and at the same time make sure you're doing your fair share of giving to the relationship. If you're single and you're looking, this card, it's about, well, this card is, is showing that you could likely meet someone new who's positive, kind, and generous. This may come about by way of introduction from someone you know. 
So once again, be sure to let people know that you're looking for a partner. Now the Six of Pentacles is paired with the Empress. Okay, this is another very potent time for love. And you may find men and women alike. They're suddenly finding you far more attractive for friendship and love. You will want to be careful with how you use this power, okay? Don't underestimate its potency. If you're single and you're looking, then this is a time when true love, well, yeah, it's true love, not just any type of love, but it could very well come your way at this time. In fact, if you're single and not looking, then true love may seek you out anyway. Committed relationships often become sweeter, deeper, truer, under the influence of the Empress. Okay, so with these two rights paired together, the Six of Pentacles. If you're in a relationship, it's a great time. Everything is fair and balanced. Okay, and if you're looking, you're more, more, you probably will meet someone soon. And once again, this person will be positive, kind. And generous but it's going to be um, you'll meet him in a different way it'll be by way of introduction so just hang around your friends <laughs> hang around people you know okay and then it's paired like I said it's paired with the Empress it's another card just like in the present uh, people will be drawn to you they'll they'll want to know what your thoughts thoughts are what's where'd you get that handbag um, hey Where'd you get those shoes from? You know, they're interested in what you have to say. They, they, they're attracted to you for friend. They're attracted to you for friendship and romance. So this new person coming in, who's positive, generous, and kind, um, he'll be highly attracted to you. So that's something. That's something that you won't have to worry about. Um, not only is he. He sounds like a good person, a neat person, positive, kind, and generous. Who wouldn't want that? But he's also um, really, really digging you. He's into you. But uh, like I said, don't underestimate the power that you have at this time. Because you'll be, you'll be attracting some of everything. The good, like I said. You ever see that movie? Well, I've heard of this movie. I haven't seen it. But you'll be attracting the good, the bad, and the ugly. Some of everything. Okay, like I said, I don't know if you're a speaker or you're someone famous, but that's a lot of attention that you've got going on in the present and in the challenge. So I hope you're okay dealing with all that and something good comes out of it. And that's the challenge. Now we move on to the outcome. We have the tower card. Okay. Now, this can be but not necessarily an indicator of a relationship that's about to end. If you're in a relationship that you absolutely positively do not want to see in, then this is an important time for damage control and clear communications. Find out how your partner is doing. Find out how they're feeling. Don't make assumptions. Find out for sure. And with these two cards paired together, there's a three of wands that's paired with a tower. So let me go over the three of, the three of wands. Your romantic relationships are likely to be going well, but only if your partner is willing to treat you as an equal. If they are not, it may be time to move on after, you, after you've made your complaints and your position clear. If you have recently met someone new, just know that they, held you in, they hold you in very high regards. This person really, they look up to you, they admire you. Okay, if you're in the market for love but feel as though you don't have any prospects you're probably currently spending too much time and effort on your career or either indoors think about allowing more time for your personal life with these two cards paired together the tower card something is about to end okay it could be a relationship more than likely it's a relationship it could be a work career could be a friendship, but it, it and then it could be your relationship. I hate to say it, but it's an indicator, just an indicator that it could end. Okay, um, 
uh, but if you don't want to see it in, now is the time. You just have to remember, it's damage control time. So you can make it work, you can turn it around, but you got to do damage control. And it's paired with the three of wands. So if your partner is not treating you as an equal and you made your complaints and position clear, might just and it's and it's still not working out, you might you might are you may are you gonna move on or not? <laughs> I can't give you a I can't tell you what to do, but uh that'll be up to you. Okay, because you like I said you made your complaints and your position clear. And if no one's willing to change or work on it, then it's up to you what you're going to do. Okay, but I guess that's a tower moment. Um, you can either do, um, they, maybe they'll do damage control or you'll do damage control and then it'll t take a turnaround for the better. Okay, so, um, yeah, so if you're single, uh, it's a good time with the um, three of wands. Because I guess this person that you met in the uh, in the present in the chat and in or in the challenge, uh, he, this person who really admired you, who was kind and generous, um, they um, they hold you with very high regards. So they they're attracted to they're attracted to you and uh, think barely high, think, think barely, I'm sorry, the noise is uh, throwing me off, I'm sorry if you can hear that, it's outdoors, it's really loud, but, um, yeah, so this new person, this kind, generous person, he, uh, really thinks highly of you, so, and it, it's showing up in the present, in the challenge, and in the outcome, too, so, I would, um, make sure you give this person a really good chance um yeah so because he's showing up um uh, more than one place in this reading okay so all right so that's the outcome scorpio i hope this resonates as you know general readings they do not always resonate with everyone then again if you like this reading please subscribe like Leave a comment if that's what you care to do. I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day.